It has many names. Soccer? Football. I call it footy. Soccer, football, footy, whatever you want to call it, is a world game. And meanings. It's just an escape. My therapy. Life. For me, soccer, soccer is like everything. everything. Went to Irvington High School in Fremont, played soccer at Fresno State, 28 goals, drafted to the LA Galaxy, nine years in, in Puerto Rico. Captain of the, the Puerto Rico Islanders, also captain of the Puerto Rico national team through two World Cup qualifying campaigns. Rarely on the sideline as a player. Now it's where Noah Delgado spends every practice and game in his first year as Oakland Roots head coach. Stop, boy. I was in the shoes, you know, in like literally in the shoes. Delgado has deep roots in Northern California and is making it his mission to give back to the new generations of soccer players. You know, soccer has been, it's not always easy. You know, you get traded, do they cut? Um, and then you look to what you can do. But I think my experience with that, I can definitely help these guys and show them directions and, and give them guidance. It's something his mom, Jenna, saw in him from an early age. The patience to teach him. He's just been with soccer since he's been two years old. His first mentee, his younger brother Eli. I mean, knowing my whole life was a great mentor growing up. The two year age difference made them teammates for life. It's a dream to be able to play with your brother, you know, growing up and then going to Puerto Rico to, you know, sign a contract and he was there right with me. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for more in a brother. The Oakland Roots began in 2018 and started signing players in 2019, including young Latinos from Northern California. Those efforts continue today with Project 510, targeting locals with hopes of becoming professionals. I am pretty sure there's someone in the crowd tonight that one day will possibly be with the first team Oakland Roots. That dream became a reality for 18-year-old Kieran Beckinsara from Berkeley at the rivalry game against Sacramento Republic, signing his first professional contract and his first game on the bench with the Oakland Roots. A player like me, maybe if there wasn't a Project 510, I wouldn't have any opportunities, tryouts, or coaches looking at me from a professional team. Beckinsara says he's looking forward to the opportunity for more coaching from Delgado. I like his coaching because um, he brings confidence to me like we're Never negative, always positive, always in a good mood. Roots captain Emra Clementa says he can see Delgado's guidance in the rookies on the field. Yes, he's, he's given those younger players a lot of confidence. He speaks to us from a place, from a player's perspective, you know, not so much as a coach. And I think a lot of guys buy into that. For Clementa, his relationship with Delgado is not only coach and player, good work, Emma. but former team captain to a current one. Being a leader, you know, he's always telling me, you know, be the voice, be, be the guy that, you know, integrates that energy. And so uh, he's just been very positive. Delgado has always been a coach. Even as a player, he trained youth teams. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Along with his second assistant coach, Danilo Jean. The two use Project 510 to give kids opportunities they never had growing up. You know, if you wanted to play professionally, you had to go somewhere else. You had to leave somewhere. You had to go to another country. Um, but now, you know, thankfully now with, with Roots and having Project 510, you have this direct link. Born in Mexico, Danilo moved with his parents to the States when he was nine. Growing up in Alameda, he played at Cal State East Bay, where the Roots now host their games, a full circle moment. To help my local community and the kids, you know, immigrant kids, which I was an immigrant kid also, um, is my dream come true. Today, Danilo defines wins not by goals, but by helping local kids get their shot. You know, when I, when I saw Edsker make his debut, it was one of the, you know, the proudest moments of my coaching career, now winning titles. Edsker Cruz and Danny Gomez, two local kids, now pros thanks to Project 510. My name is Edsker Cruz, and I'm from Modesto, California. Edsker made his professional debut up, before legally becoming an adult. Dale, Edsker, dale, Edsker. And fellow rookie midfielder Daniel Gomez became the first player from Project 510 to make it onto a USL Championship 1 team. I'm 23 years old, and I went to college at California State University Stanislaus in Turlock, and I'm from Antica. For Cruz, Gomez, and Coach Delgado, their connection deeper than representing the same team, but sharing a similar culture, all introduced to the game they love by their fathers. Every Hispanic dad would be watching the game. If you go to any Hispanic house, there's always soccer. For Danny Gomez, the game is a connection to his family roots being first generation. My dad grew up in Mexico. He was born in Mexico, so over there, it's all soccer. He kind of took that culture, brought it over to me, kind of introduced it to me. Passing down tradition, lessons, connecting places and people. 
showing me the game at an early age, uh, me playing with my friends growing up. So it's just like culture being like brought down generations. So while Noah Delgado may no longer be on the field, a true athlete knows a legacy can live on in players that come after you. Showing what this beautiful game could give, it's given me everything. And now these young players are, we're helping them, giving them a, a platform to play. 